It's so funny, I was asked what was driving me when I was 16 years old. And to be honest, it was waking up every day, uh, going outside, seeing many individuals in my neighborhood, uh, driving nice cars, and my family didn't have any. Um, that my mom you know, explained to me very early on that in order for me to get out of our neighborhood, that education would be that one driving force to do so. So um, education became my driving force that motivated me to get out of Haines City to go and pursue uh, basketball with, the, with, with, with everything that I had. And um, it was knowing that uh, if I did go to college, that I could someday be able to help my family um, change the rest of our whole entire family structure by getting a college education. Let me ask you this question. What's driving you to want to continue to play with Taylor Athletes this year and uh, hopefully get an opportunity to go to college? The thing that drives me is I just, I don't want to see my mom work no more. I just want to be able to take care of her and my family. And um, I just want to mature more as a young man and just being able to take care of my family and uh, doing better things for the community. What's driving you to get to college? That would be my mom because my mom, she works and goes to school. So that more than anything drives me to work hard in the gym as well as in the classroom. What's driving you this last uh, high school year to uh, possibly get a chance to make it to the next level? Family? Was, is it not for me? I didn't know what I to do for the rap. I had to What do you think having a college education would do for you? Financial situation helped me a lot. Tell me what's driving you to continue to commit so much to the game of basketball? Uh, pretty much just the game itself, just the competitive nature it brings, uh, the lifestyle I have, uh, basketball brings to me, keep uh, the focus, um, and it makes me happy to play for basketball. Well, that brings me to the most important question then, so um, let's go back. What, what's really driving you to, uh, to finish out your high school career and then hopefully get a chance to go to college? What's driving you for that? Like I said before, my parents. They're my inspiration to play the game. My dad has been teaching me since I was little. And now that he can't teach me anymore, because uh, his work schedule, I just got to go out there, play my practice by myself, get better. And that's pretty much it. How, how he works. That's how I want to work to get him uh, the life that he wants. And at the end of the day, Gotcha. What's driving you to continue to you know, give so much to the game of basketball? I'm doing it for my family because them watching me succeed with a smile on their face and that makes me make my life better. And I love the game so playing in college it would just be better than getting a degree and playing the game I love. The uh, question that we want to answer is what's driving you to get to college? Uh, my family drives me more than anything. Just seeing that I'm struggling and work hard for me just makes me want to give back to them. Good. Um, so far on your journey, um, give us two important situations that have happened that has made you so hungry to keep working both in the classroom 
and on the basketball court. Any any two things particularly in your life? Uh, I have one main thing. That would be my mom because my mom, she works and goes to school. So that, more than anything, drives me to work hard in the gym and, as well as in the classroom. When did you start playing basketball? Uh, I started playing basketball probably like second grade. As you're journeying this year with Taylor Athlete, we just want to know what's driving you to possibly earn a college scholarship. Uh, growing up, I've never been like in shape or you know, the average basketball player. Like I was always heavier. I've been cut for so many teams. You know, you're too fat. You, know, you don't want to. You don't want to than anyone else. Uh, you're just not gonna be able to fit in our program. You don't run too well. Uh, I think I just got tired of hitting so many times, and I just like kind of like broke me to just like go to God and just ask like really what I need to do to become like, what I'm going to look for. Like, like my dad being a pastor, like he always been like there to like, support me and push me. So I push myself like past the limits. Nothing that happened overnight. Like it took like a while because I would do it, you know, go out, work, run, get in shape, and then stop. I had bad eating habits. So I had to like fix little things. And then I saw, I found, I found myself become more athletic. Uh, I stopped arguing so much with people because I had a low self-esteem, very low, and now I can take some criticism and give it out for confident. And with Taylor athletes, I know that they're gonna bring more than just you know an athlete out of me. That you know, James, uh, Coach James, like he, he's like a mentor to me. I look at him like the same way I look at you know like Keon doing who he works with. He knows personally. That's what he, he reminds me of. He reminds me of Keon a lot. And I'm able to talk to them, to any one of them at like any time. You know, they kind of push me, you know, that's what drives me, you know, I have support, and um, I came from nothing to something, you know. So all Tailored Athletes programs that help guide our high school athletes are all about helping them earn an opportunity to go to college, whether that's playing basketball or whether that's going to school and studying business, marketing, finance. We want them to have the opportunity to receive a college education as we understand the value of how it will change the dynamics of their life and their family for forever. On average, it costs $3,500 a year for a high school junior to participate in the necessary college exposure tournaments throughout the country. So Taylor Athlete's responsibility and our role is to try to do our best to cut the cost for families by providing 80% sponsorship for all of our athletes. That other 20% comes from local businesses like yourself, comes from private donors like yourself, and comes from raising money annually through all of our programs, basketball tournaments, camps. What do we need from you? Although we wish uh, everyone can come in and speak to our athletes, we need your financial support. We need you to ask yourself, what's driving you and your young athletes as they're out here playing basketball? One day your athletes will have the dream to make it and go to college. Who will be there to support them? Taylor Athletes will. And we hope by that time you have journeyed with us, that you've seen the benefits of young men's lives being changed how they go from low income economic situations to becoming the first to go to college in their families. We can do it, but not without your help.